Texas lawmakers in Austin are debating several school safety bills this week, including one which would require an armed school resource officer be present on each campus. Today, a group of local school district leaders are attending a school safety conference in Richardson. That's where we find our Nick Starling, who's been listening in. So, Nick, what can you tell us? Hey, Karen, the goal of this conference is to share ideas with one another to keep students and staff safe, especially in the world we're living in today. This is all taking place at the Region 10 Educational Service Center, which covers dozens of North Texas school districts. This is a one day safety summit discussing active shooter risk mitigation, emergency response, and recovery. This is where we bring all our subject matter experts from all over the country to focus on school safety for our students, our parents, our staff, our school administrators. Our staff was well trained in regards to what to do there. Let's the keynote speaker, Dr. Lee Wall, was the superintendent of Santa Fe ISD when back in 2018, a 17 year old gunman killed 10 people, eight students students and two teachers. In total, 23 people were injured that day. She spoke about how the district responded and lessons learned. Today, they doubled their officers on campus, hardened security with cameras and locks, and why collaboration is important. Unfortunately, um, as you see, almost on a daily basis, which is, which is horrible, the, the shootings in some form or fashion are continuing. So the only the only piece I'd say to that is if we plan, prepare, practice, assess, adjust, work together and learn from each other. The reason that I'm here sharing this with you today is so hopefully there's just a little bit that you saw in this or heard that you can say, oh, let's go back and talk about that. There are several breakout sessions later on today, one including pending le legislation when it comes to school security. This conference ends at 4 o'clock this afternoon. Live in Richardson, Nick Starling, CBS News, Texas. Nick, thank you.